Nice. All right, it's Black Friday. Are you excited, Alex? Yep. <laughs> Alex and I are going to Frost Cutlery's new uh, retail store location in Chattanooga. Of course, Jim Frost started, uh, you know, selling knives out of the back of his car, in like 1969 or something. But uh, established Frost Cutlery in 1971 or 72, I think. And um, in the right lane here. But um, we're gonna go check it out. Hopefully have some, uh, I, I'd like to buy a replacement for my oh so sweet because it's, you know, it's, it's starting to wear out. I've lost screws to it, it the, the clip is broke. It's just, uh, I don't know, I'm ready for a new EDC knife. So uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe I can talk Alex into something. He's so frugal, he's like, I have everything I need. <laughs> right, Alex? <Yeah. laughs> so uh, I need to get him into the collecting mindset, don't I? Anyway, let's, uh, let's go see what happens. Should be fun. Well, this is pretty cool, Alex. Yep. You know, Frost Cutlery's been a tradition in Chattanooga for a long time. And uh, this is a new store location. Grand opening today on Black Friday. The knife shop. Alex, you better buy one of these before they outlaw them. <laughs> well, that get much hurt. They're getting ready to outlaw guns that look like toy guns that look like guns. That looks like it would hurt if we hit something. Oh, yeah. Just a crossbow. Alex won the door prize. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, cool, Alex. Look. 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 Ooh. <laughs> we'll have to check that out later, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm here with Cameron Thompson at the grand opening. <laughs> Frost Cutlery's new knife shop. Is that technically the name? Uh, we're calling it the knife shop at Frost Cutlery, yes. I appreciate you letting me do this little video. Absolutely. I actually came to get a new Kershaw. You don't you don't have the little repair kits or anything? For not for Kershaw, we do not, no sir. So when do you think you'll ever carry the Oso Sweets or? I'm sure we will, yes. What would you recommend as for a replacement for my Oso Sweet? Because I'm here to buy a knife. Well, it's uh, totally depending on what your needs are. I was looking at this one. What's that model? That is the Clash 1605. What do you think about that one? Very good knife. Now it's an imported knife, but it's a very good quality knife. I like it because of the uh, straight blade, not the serrated, but some people, as you can see right here, same knife, but it has the serrated blade to it compared to the non-serrated. I like the non-serrated knives. Yep. That's I why agree. I was looking at that one. Some so. people that work in a field, you know, that might need to cut rope or something, they always prefer the serrated. What's the steel on that little? Is it's that a Damascus. Damascus, yes. I was going to say. I'm looking through the viewfinder, but it looks like, hmm, that was interesting. What's this one? That is the 1600 D-A-M. That is nice. It has the key, one thing I like about Kershaw is it has the, the keychain holder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's it. Dad's going to get a blackout. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got a nice little clip on it. Oh, yeah. Maybe I won't break this one, huh? <laughs> Jim Frost started in what, 1969? Uh, he's been here 42 years, so I guess actually we can say on papers from 71. Yeah, he started was, selling out of his lunchbox around the late 60s. I was, but I was thinking that's what I read. I was reading about how he sold knives out of his, the trunk of his car or whatever. True, started in his lunchbox, then his car, then a garage, and hey, where, where we are, where we are now from, uh, what is it, five buildings later, I guess it is. Well, it's cool, I appreciate you letting me do a little video here. Absolutely, thanks for coming by. Well, that wasn't supposed to be. Mm. 
That's odd, I haven't seen these before. Kitchen stuff. Color cut. Kind of cool. What kind of quality they are. And of course they have your kitchen knife set. It's kind of like what Frost is kind of known for, I guess. I should get one of these because I'm a playboy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Docs is like, it's, it's embarrassing time now. Mm -hmm. I look at Alex. Little gun knives. Like? Yeah. Get you a Glock now. That's pretty cool. Alex won a door prize. Yep. What, you, what is it? It's a knife. I know, but what does it say on, on the end of the box? It should have like a model name or something. Let me see. Made in China. What kind of cheap door prize? I'm just kidding. <laughs> the other door prize we won was a frost cutlery knife. Look here, Alex. Let's see what it says. There's the model on it. Well, that's pretty cool. Not a bad look. I mean, it's hefty. I wonder if it'll hold an edge. What's that say? 440 stainless. I mean, that's a that's a heftier knife than the one I just paid 50 bucks for. So that's pretty cool. It's a maybe a little giveaway item. Is that a, oh, it's a lock back. Yeah. Of course, Dad got the blackout. Pretty cool. We'll have to retire the, maybe not retire the oh so sweet, but uh, give it another use. This will go on the EDC keychain. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. Yeah. We uh, won, won two knives, <laughs> the grand opening, and uh, I'll have to get into that. Uh, blackout that Kershaw blackout I was a little disappointed they didn't have the whole of course how could they have the whole line of Kershaw but uh, he did say that we're gonna start carrying more more knives and uh, so we'll be back uh, to visit again Nice.